What's up guys, it's your girl Manamix and I am back with more Haunting of Bly Manor. If you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's be here together, you guys. And down below in the description box, I've got affiliate links to Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Entertainment Earth. It's where I get all of my gamer, geeky, anime related um, apparel, Funko Pops, and household items. So if you want to support the channel, use the links down below to shop around. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, thanks. I do appreciate it. And I just ran up and down the flight of steps. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm trying to cook food a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Um, so what happened last time? Last time on The Haunting, we got to see the backstory of... Um, we got to see Danny's backstory, which is what I thought it was going to be. But still, seeing her fiancé get hit by that freaking truck wow that's why she always sees like the rings the the glasses that are illuminated with the light because that's the last thing she saw of him and i understand that completely i completely understand that this is eating away at her because she felt bad that she was getting ready well she had broken off the engagement because she is a lesbian she loves him because that's her friend and she's known him her whole life but she wasn't in love with him and she just couldn't fake the funk anymore. And in that, we got to see um, what was going on just in the house. Owen's mother had died. And so she was really conflicted about the funeral. Like she just didn't, you know, she wasn't a fan of funerals because of what had happened to her. And it was just seeing everyone reminisce about things they've lost, seeing, um, Owen going through something tragic and just trying to be there for him and and just seeing how children deal with death as well because the death of his mother it brought back the the, the reminders of how they felt when their parents died and I'm still shocked and shooketh that no one has can pick up the fact that um Miles is flip-flopping between personalities like it's just weird I know for I, I know for a fact I just believe wholeheartedly that um Peter is possessing Miles randomly and I don't know why I think he might have been killed on the property but we also know that from the other flashbacks that the um the lady of the lake she's always been there like she was in that house before um, Rebecca Jessel had died. So I'm just like, what the hell is that? And I'm excited to get to this episode. People have been telling me, oh, this episode, this episode, this episode. So here, here I am at 12 o'clock in the morning watching this episode before I have to lay down and go to work tomorrow. I have to, it's, it's the principle of the matter. Okay, the principle. <sighs> so on that note, let's jump in to no, we're not going to jump into it right now. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and jump into season one, episode five of The Haunting of Bly Manor, The Altar of the Dead. We can't count on our future either. I love a philosophical no drunk. Past, no future. Just the present. Oh my God, it's scary, I know, but oh yeah. It's a bit of a relief. It's not horrible. It's not horrible to say it. I'm untethered now whether I like it or not. And now I'm thinking... <sighs> maybe I'll go back to Paris. Don't maybe leave her. You could do. Go get your man. <laughs> Girl... I'm not laughing. Say it with me. Get your I'm bitch. A gross in Paris. What would I do? Be with me. And, and drink good wine. And live, Hannah. Live. Come on, Hannah. Do whatever the hell occurs to us in the bloody moment. Follow your boobay. That was the conversation right, well, before. It's about that time. I can't believe that was the conversation. I can't believe that was the conversation. This is my home, and I take great pride in it. We need a cook who intends to stay on for a while. Well, um, when my mum needs to make a living while I mind her, and I don't know how long that will. Uh, 
but I won't go running off. <laughs> Look, I... I don't know if it's transcendent, but I'm learning a lot about being alive. <laughs> I mean, a lot. I like them together. What, did she walk into the wrong room? Mrs. Cruz? Do we actually get to see them? Hello, Hal. Lovely to see your face. I'm yours too, sir. And she's like, oh, Peter fucking Quill. Tea this week. You'll Peter Quill. Quaint. Quint. <laughs> well, I should like that very much, Mom. <clears throat> Don't nobody like you. Is that a person over there? Bitch, what? What is the matter? Are you okay? I don't know how he could be, Mom. But apparently he is. Apparently he is. It's just fine. What? Somehow, him and however she is there. It's just fine. Oh my. Oh jeez. Is that why she was so spacey? Her man left her? The disrefucking specked. Oh, she killed him and then I can't, I mean. Ma'am, do you know where you are? What is happening? Look at you, all flushed. You're pretty when you blush. Miles! Who the fuck? Who was possessing him? Any of us could die at any moment, or we could forget our entire lives, which is like dying. Wait a, wait a, wait a fucking minute! What in the hell is happening? I didn't. Bex, I, uh, Mark, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here. Girl! Please. Hey. I don't even know who that was. Ciao! I'm just in deeper than I thought, I guess. And girl, I'm scared you'll be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Okay. Okay. Child, no, not okay. Fuck out of here. Let's check and see what time it is. It's about to be real late. Girl, I don't have time for this. That's why I knew it was gonna happen. Like you looking in on stuff. It's weird. <laughs> oh man, she was like, let me just go back and turn this motherfucking vacuum on. <laughs> Bruh man. Honestly, I don't Give the vacuum a rest. Have a little. You should mind your business and don't talk to me like that. Or be in my vicinity like that. What is the fucking crack in the wall? What in the hell? Uh, you scared me. Well, there's a sentimental bloke. Show what's in your pocket. Jesus. He I looks like he's drunk. First. Thinking that they're your family. That this is your house. There's them, and then there's us, Hannah. Bruh. We're the help. So? What do you suppose happens when you're too old to push them off? Uh, I don't know. Leaving honest people I don't like care. us and it's weak. Honest, are you? Mm. I'll have the necklace, please. Thank you. Come on. 
Garbage ass individual. Cracking the wall? What the hell is happening? Is she sick? Let's get back to it. In Paris, I was a sous chef, which means they only let you cut vegetables. Here, I'll be putting everything together myself. It'd be a great learning experience. But you admitted he hasn't exactly been himself since his parents died. No, that's not what I meant. Miles Dominic Wingrave! What do you think you're doing? Hey. What on earth has gotten into you? That's scared. Enjoying the shit on out my of sunny day. What do you do? What the fuck is the matter with him? Honestly. Uh, Miles? Honestly. Miles! Miles, we're not finished here! Miles! Oh, God! Miles! Yo, I haven't mo I'm, That scared the shit out of me! Oh, hello. Oh, hello. But did Miles come in here? Just now? Come have a seat. Girl, what? Because Sam is gone. Because Sam is gone. I appreciate the offer. Really, I do, Charlotte. No, I can't. I can't sit still. My Sam chest is, is still. He's just going for a face. It's still not okay. And he'll be back. As far as he was concerned, my dreams are far out of my reach. And he felt I needed to be reminded of that constantly. So when you find someone who truly sees you, who truly believes in you, sometimes more than you believe in yourself, that you are smart enough. And capable enough and tells you so. Or you hold on to them and you don't let go. Girl, bear. Even if they're rough around the edges. Girl, Even if they're bye. Not perfect. Girl, bye. It's not about being perfect. If, if they're harmful to you, no bitch, no. Them. You don't have to lose yourself to find happiness, you know. Exactly. Don't you go? No, bitch. Then you all do it. No, you're not supposed Always. to. No. You don't know him, Hannah. You don't. He scares me too. The why, bitch? Why? The best way. Girl, she making my hair tangle. Being with him might be scary at times, but it's also exciting and fun. And for the first time in my life, that little voice in my head saying I'm not good enough has disappeared. It's gone. Rebecca. She about to go to someplace else. What is the matter with you? This little kid is just possessed. 